multiplication of three digit numbers multiply 312 by 3 step 1 multiply 2 ones by 3 2 ones into 3 is equal to 6 ones write 6 under the ones column step 2 multiply 1 10 by 3 1 10 into 3 is equal to 3 tenths write 3 under the tens column step 3 multiply 3 hundreds by 3 multiply 3 hundreds by 3 3 hundreds into 3 is equal to 9 hundreds write 9 under the hundreds column hence 312 into 3 is equal to 936 distributive property of multiplication over addition whenever there is a difficulty in multiplying large numbers this method of distributive property of multiplication over addition is used there are totally four rows of nine apples in each row divide the box and split the number of apples to two sections in the first section there are four rows of four apples fence each four into four is equal to 16 in the second section there are four rows of five apples each four into five is equal to 20 therefore four into four plus four into five is equal to 16 plus 20 which is equal to 36 division let us do some examples to revise the sums which we did in the previous class 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2 here the answer is called the quotient division as repeated subtraction we know that division is repeated subtraction let us learn this through an example take a packet of chocolates with 12 numbers you have to distribute them among students so that each student gets three chocolates each find out how many children will get the chocolates first you give three chocolates to one child you are left with 12 minus 3 which is equal to 9 pieces give another three chocolates to the second child now you are left with 9 minus 3 which is equal to 6 now give three chocolates to the third child it will leave you with 6 minus 3 which is equal to three chocolates you have only three chocolates now give them to the fourth child you are left with 3 minus 3 which is equal to 0 so you gave 12 chocolates to four children with three pieces to each child to equally distribute 12 chocolates we have repeatedly subtracted 3 from 12 for four times we write this as 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. Division as distribution. There are 4 groups of 5 cats each. To find out the total number of cats, we multiply 4 into 5 and we get 20. When you are asked to find out the number of groups, we use division total number of cats divided by the number in each group that is 20 divided by 5 we get the answer as 4 groups division on number line let us use a number line and find the answer for 10 divided by 2 
To find 10 divided by 2 means to find how many 2's are there in 10. Look at the number line. Start from 10 and take back moves of 2 each to reach 0. How many moves did we go from 10 to reach 0? It is 5 moves. Hence, 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. Let us see a division problem using pictures. From the given diagram, let us answer the following questions. How many balloons are there altogether? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. How many balloons are there in each group? 1, 2. How many groups are formed? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. How many 2's are there in 10? 5. Therefore, 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. Long Division Example, divide 648 by 2. Step 1. Arrange the numerals below in the place value order. Step 2. Divide 6 hundreds by 2. 6 hundreds divided by 2 is equal to 300. Write 3 in the hundreds place in the quotient. Step 3. Bring down 4 tenths. Divide 4 tenths by 2. 4 tenths divided by 2 is equal to 2 tenths. Write 2 in the tenths place in the quotient. Step 4. Bring down 8 ones. Divide 8 ones by 2. 8 ones divided by 2 is equal to 4 ones. Write 4 in the ones place in the quotient. Hence, 648 divided by 2 is equal to 324.